I try to do the same thing, not by being phony, but to possibly see where the other guy, where the other person is coming from, so there is a relationship between us. I call it empathy. And you want to know something? Because I follow what Paul said about doing that, that's why you're talking to me now, right now. Do you know that I know a lot of where you're coming from? But in the process of this investigation, I, you know something? I discovered something far more troubling to me in the Quran. The Quran of all holy books allows for holy lying. Have you heard of holy lying, Abdullah? This concept was created due to the reality of Surahs 328 and 16, verse 106, in your very own Quran. Abdullah, in your little absence, I, I brought these scriptures to the attention of Muslims. They tried to defend them by saying they are only used to lie to wife, to make her happy, to tell a white lie, and to lie in war, or jihad. Lie and... Well, for jihad, according to one of these two surahs, you can lie if you feel your life is in danger. That you can go so far as even deny your faith if you feel your life is in danger. Abdullah, do you see how these scriptures can be abused for sinister purposes, especially when it involves a Muslim who feels jihad is holy war, either through pen or sword. That means if someone whom he perceives as an infidel calls his attention to a troubling scripture in the Quran that casts doubt for this infidel, the Muslim can lie and say he really doesn't mean what it says. For instance, if a Muslim who does believe jihad means holy war, to convert or kill in the cause of Allah, like Bin Laden and the 45 British doctors believe, if he is asked for the real definition of jihad, he, the holy war believing Muslim, with the blessing of, of those two surahs I discovered, well, he can lie, he can lie, and shout, no more infidel. It's it's in a piece. Eh, it's in a piece, man. Eh, eh. Islam is peaceful religion. Eh, it it means peace. Tell me that he wouldn't. No, say not that inner that peace. Though. It means inner struggle. He'd say inner struggle. That's what he but would say. But the thing is, he would lie and say it was inner besides struggle. Besides the major creep factor raised many fold in Islam with the reality of these two scriptures. Do you see the contradictions this also creates in the Quran where it says not to lie? And then again, if it says you can lie, if you feel your life is in danger in wartime, well, where are the 72 friggin' virgins you're supposed to get if <laughs> isn't lying?